As lawmakers continue to work toward an agreement on the 2011-2012 state budget, another major topic of discussion has been whether to impose an extraction tax or impact fee on natural gas drilling in the Marcellus Shale region. Let's spend five minutes on the subject with State Representative Mike Tobash. Representative, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Happy uh, to be here. First off, um, what, are you, what is your feeling on an extraction tax or a, uh, a fee? Let me tell you, I do, I do support uh, an impact fee on, on the drilling that's taking place. Uh, I've spoken with uh, people from the industry, and they're ready and, uh, and willing to pay a fee. Uh, I think it's important for them to be able to have some stability in their business model, and I think it's important moving forward. Look, there's no question about it. We have got to be good stewards of our environment and we have to also understand that uh, the places where this drilling is taking place those areas are certainly impacted heavily and we need to set something aside to make sure that we don't uh, we've got to learn from our past mistakes and make sure that our environment is is taken care of and that we're taking care of the people who are impacted heavily uh, one point of confusion seems to be that the drillers are not paying any taxes whatsoever among, uh, amongst the industry. Well, it's a great point, and you're right. There is confusion out there, and that's really not the case. We've got a couple of taxes uh, on businesses in the state of Pennsylvania. The sales and use tax is one example. The corporate net income tax and the corporate stock and franchise tax are all examples of taxes that the industry is now paying. Uh, and there's a statistic that I really like to, to bring out and, and to help inform people. Last year, through the uh, calendar year, 2010, the industry in those three taxes paid about $214 million, uh, which is important. It's important to the bottom line of the state of Pennsylvania, and is, there's no question that is, it is helping us with our budget problems this year. Uh, but even more importantly, through the first four months of 2011, for those same taxes, the industry has paid $238 million. So it's a growing industry. There's an opportunity for us to take advantage of it and fix a lot of holes, uh, but it's not a short-term fix. Uh, I think in the long run, certainly the Commonwealth will be better off taking advantage of an industry that is growing and flourishing. So we've been hearing a lot of rhetoric that the uh, gas extractors are getting away by taking our gas and we're getting nothing from it. That's absolutely not the case. Well, that's really not the case. And again, those statistics uh, you know, bear the truth. You know, $238 million in the first four months of this year is certainly impressive revenue growth. Why an impact fee over an extraction tax or vice versa? Well, you know, look, there, there's one thing that we needed to do, Anthony, there's no question about it, and that's get results. The governor came out strong against no new taxes uh, in this cycle, and it's my belief uh, that if we hand the governor a document, a bill, that is going to be a, f a fix for adding money to the general fund uh, to just uh, create more reckless spending, I don't think it's what the citizens of the Commonwealth want. It's certainly not what the governor wants, and I don't believe a bill like that will end up getting passed at the end of the day. So I think that we need to, again, focus on the elements that uh, are important uh, to, for local impact and for our environment. I think we have to continue to, to let the industry grow so it is a long-term solution to some of our budget issues, and uh, we've got to get something completed. We have to get something accomplished, and I think if we, if we give the governor a bill uh, that makes good common sense for those reasons, I think we'll get it passed. Can you talk about some of the proposals that have been put forth um, that may make their way to the governor's desk for his signature? Yeah, I know there's a couple of bills. Uh, you know, look, it's a hot topic. It's a hot topic when you go uh, into our communities all over the state of Pennsylvania where the gas is being extracted, uh, you know, in Philadelphia where it's not, uh, and, and certainly in our district where maybe it has the potential to be extracted. Uh, but a lot of people are taking a hard look at this. And in the Senate, I know that there's a bill from uh, Senator Scarnati uh, that seems to uh, have a lot of attention. Uh, it's a bill that does focus on impact fees. I think it's a good piece of legislation that has an opportunity to get passed. So we'll be looking at that as it comes to the House. Uh, I know that uh, Jim Marshall, a representative uh, in the House, has got legislation that mirrors that. Uh, and that's, and that's uh, forthcoming. It's coming up very quickly as, as, as far as I understand. I talked to him on the floor yesterday. Uh, I know Marguerite Quinn has a bill that has just come out, uh, and I'm a co-sponsor on that bill. So I'm anxious to take a look at what's out there uh, and to put our, my effort behind getting something accomplished. Okay, and we only have a few more seconds left, but one last question, simply what's next? 
well, look, look, we, we, you know, we've got to get things uh, accomplished sooner than later. We're working very hard on the budget right now. And again, going back to this issue of Marcellus Shale, uh, it's, not, it's not a fix. Many people want it to be a fix for their portion of the budget that may not have the same revenue as, as we had before. Uh, but the fact of the matter is the Marcellus gas drilling that we have an opportunity to take advantage of uh, is, going to be, is going to be a good long-term solution for much of what we're looking forward to in the state of Pennsylvania. We're going to work. We're going to get a budget done on time. We're going to get a budget done that does not spend more revenue than we have, uh, and we're going to move as quickly as we can, in my opinion, to get something done from this industry that is beneficial to the Commonwealth. Right, Representative Tobosh, thank you for spending time with us here and uh, talking about Marcellus Shale. Uh, that's all the time we have for today's program. If you have comments or questions about this or any other legislative topic, Representative Tobash's contact information will be on the screen in a few seconds. I'm Anthony Tezak, and thanks for spending five minutes with State Representative Mike Tobash.